In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I hydro dipped my van sneakers and got this design. Now, these vans were extremely colorful. I got them from my um, local thrift store in the community. They have good things, new things. And so I've decided to hydro dip these and look at the results. Yay! I'm wearing them outside, so you know, I'm excited. And then I hydro dip my Fila sneakers. Now these, I've had these for some time, okay? And I love this particular design that Fila had come out with. I love big looking sneakers and anything that's gonna make me look taller, okay? I'm short and then sometimes I like to have a little height on me and this allows that to happen. For something creative, I was researching online, hydro dipping, and I said, this is going to be it. And I, I love how these turned out. I used paint and primer spray to change the, uh, or cover up the design that was already on the van. Only did one or two coats of white primer on the Fila sneakers. I'm so excited to do this. I've seen a lot of people doing all types of sneakers, super expensive sneakers, and they've also done commission pieces and given away sneakers for free and also sold sneakers. I'm not on that level. So I'm just going to do sneakers that I do like, but that I'm okay if I don't like the design. I want to say it's rather simple and easy to hydro dip things. You just want to make sure you're taking the necessary precautions to protect your lungs and your life, okay? But doing the process is rather easy. Easy. I use warm water when I'm hydro dipping, not hot water and not cold water. Took my spray pan, shook it up first, waited a little while, and then let it sit in the hot water so that the spray pan is warmed up. Learned that from a YouTuber online. And so I follow suit so that, you know, the paint comes together on top of the water and it comes out very smoothly. I sprayed on top of one color. And then I also sprayed in different areas of the bucket, right? Creating a skin, a layer on top of the water because water and oil do not mix. I don't know what paint and primer is actually so. Nonetheless, it still creates a skin on top, okay? And that's what allows you to get a design on top of the item that you're dipping. Now, I do try to create some sort of design on the water, but it really doesn't always work for me. It's not as consistent. It did work when I used nail polish. Other than that, I'm not so skillful, so whatever design I am creating, whatever marbling I am creating is just how I am placing the colors on top of each other. I'm going to play some music for your listening pleasures while you watch the sneaker become hydro dipped, marbleized. Let's dive in. Yes.
Don't forget to smash that like button if you're getting something out of this video. Don't forget to click the link over there and I'll see you at the next video.